Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, that's always exciting. Speaking of exciting, this is probably a good six or seven foot mamba or more. Not as stocky as Taz, but relatively uh, very long. Hello? Hello? You want some water? Here, up. Oh. Here, have some water. No tongue twitch, but that's definitely a leave me alone sort of thing. Come on, I'll give you some water. Here. Here. Hi. Come on. Really shy and and rather frightened still. You know, this way you can see it come out and latch onto my nose. Here, come on. Relax, relax. Here. There you go. That's all we wanted to do. See, I don't know if you people can see from there. You want some more? Hmm? You know, your typical wild caught black mamba, and these are these are dark, even though I can see uh, uh, banding underneath. Come here. Here. Well, I bet you drink really nicely out of a water dish, too. Well, the top of your hide will uh, definitely act as a water dish. Oh, yeah, you can sort of see. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in. Okay, that's a little better. We can do that. See, so, yeah, now this is a fresh caught black mamba. Now I know I'm in your way. Okay, okay. No reason to be upset. Here you go. All this stupid hook has to do is. Uh, slip and fall and and scare the beastie and uh, and then all hell will break loose yeah how's that huh now it's sort of semi-suicidal to have these guys up this high because they already can practically get on your face in your face from the ground without giving them a Sort of a head start here. Okay, okay, yeah, I know. You're twitchy. But that, yeah, easy, easy, here. Okay, I know you're nervous. There, see? The water bottle is a good thing. Water bottle.
bottle gives you some yummy, yummy water to drink. There you go. See? Get used to that. It's a shame that I have to send these guys off to another zoo where they may not uh, be treated as as friendly as I do. But, uh, you know, they'll at least have good care and people that will really care for them. They're the pe those people that are just scared to death of them. Well, I mean, these are good things to be scared to death of, but only if you piss them off. And giving them water and, uh, and food and not trying to hurt them. Here, you want to drink right from the straw? Oh, that's so nice. That's really good. See? That's not going to hurt you. This is probably the animal's only contact with human so far that it's, you know, been treated fairly decently. And of course, you know, oh, don't do that. That scares the crap out of me. It's nothing like the top falling off the cage. with a rather large black mamba in it. Okay. There you go. Good thing you're, you have a drinking uh, problem here. So you can... Uh, <laughs> shit happens. Now fortunately, uh, this gal was relatively calm and in the process of drinking. Uh, therefore, wasn't terribly startled and upended by the top falling off. I'm using real thin t uh, tie wraps uh, to keep the lids on, strong enough to keep them in, but easy to cut and apparently easy to break. So, with that said, Place Mr. Rat there. You want more to drink, huh? Okay, okay, relax. Relax. See? Okay, this is this is the watering tool. There we go. Okay. See? And I like uh, going down over the box like this because it it keeps my fingers out of a close range strike, although um, if she wanted to, she could be in my face in an instant. You know, I keep telling people that these animals are not looking for a fight, but if you scare them, of course they're going to react very badly. I mean, look at my, uh, my friend, uh, uh, Mad Martin, you know, who spent the Guinness Book of World Records time in, a, in an enclosure with over 40 venomous snakes, puff adders, uh, two kinds of mambas, snouted cobras, boom slangs. Didn't get bit at all. Okay, now you've had enough to drink. And now you detect a, a breeze of fresh air. Easy, easy, okay. There we go. So, again, they're not looking for a fight. You know, these animals are like every other animal on the planet, just trying to survive any way they can. And unfortunately, sometimes, uh, they encounter people, and that encounter generally is never pretty. Uh, the animal loses, or the people loses, or both. Uh, you know, that's just the way it is. But, there's no reason that these guys, you know, need to be, other than for insurance reasons, oh, is that tasty, huh? Now that she had a good drink or he had a good drink?
there we go. There we go, we'll eat that rat. Oh, is that nice. Is that nice? I'll see if I can lift the lid for you for a quick peek. Is that nice? Can you see that? Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Enjoy. Oh boy, you got big fangs. You do. You really do. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Now, of course, we even when they're in the cage, I like to move slowly around these guys simply because uh, any quick movement frightens the heck out of them. And especially if they've got a mouthful of rat or something, uh, you know, it's not really nice to do that. So we will secure her. Uh, now, this is the one that really scares me. Uh, this one has been uh, very much into uh, gaping and flaring its neck and has not uh, been all that receptive to my charming, so to speak. Simply charming. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to move slowly. You're okay. It's better just to cut that than it to snap in a surprise manner. Okay, so it's nice that I have these gray rats because the gray rats look more like their natural prey and the same to you there, Miss Taipan. Well, that's a little scrawny for you. Let's see, do we have something with a little bit more robust? Uh, yeah, and we'll... We'll keep it extra moist because they can get extra moisture and water from uh, Mr. Rodent there, who's graciously giving its life for the cause. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, I know, I see it. Your head's up. You're watching me like a hawk. Uh, you're a little bit tight in the coils, huh? Hello? Hello? Oh, you're pretty. Oh, I hate when shit like that happens. Here, you want some water? Oh, you do? Okay. Well, that's a good start. That's a good start. Oh, this one, this one could be trouble. This one could be trouble. Well, that's good. At least I didn't waste the rat. The rat didn't fall on the floor, so it's still considered clean. Let's move that so you can see. Let's hook the rat to that. Okay, now back to the, uh, the danger. Hello. Okay, ah, gaping, gaping, gaping. That's not good. Oh, here, I got water, I got water. This is water. Here. Yeah, that's water. What do you have a big ripe tick on your back, huh? I suppose if I tubed you, you'd let me have that, but... Um, matter of fact, I think you've got several ticks on you. Okay, as I said, you know, these guys are fresh. This guy could... Uh, or gal could have me for lunch and looked like she was going to and still might but you show a little kindness to their basic needs and they would rather have a nice drink and then kill you than to kill you with a dry mouth. Now that tick is in a bad spot because it's even tough to if I tubed her that head would be just inside the tube and that would be very difficult to get. Uh, uh, easy, easy. You're a gaper. I can see that. Huh? All right, just relax. Boy, she could throw a loop right in my face. There you go. 
Yeah, okay, okay. There you go. Yeah. We got water right here. We got water for you. See, folks, there's no, there's no way that I would want anyone in here with me while I was doing this to run the camera. Uh, nor could I possibly hold the camera at this point and have any sort of a safety margin. This animal is not safe to be doing this with. But I'm willing to take the chance. Yeah, you pay attention to the water and not what my hook is doing. And we'll both be happy. Okay. Arms are tired. Okay. You had a bit of water. I'll give you some more water tomorrow night. But let's see if you would uh, you would like this uh, rodent. Here, it's a rodent. Here. Yeah. I brought you lunch, too. Oh, we're hungry. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. I'm sorry you people uh, can't get a better view of this. But there we go. I know, you're nervous because I'm here and your, uh, your weapon systems are a bit offline right now because you've got a rat. Well, uh, believe me, I am not going to provoke you into doing anything nasty. You have a whole bunch of ticks. So look, I'm going to be nice I'm going to shut this so you can have your dinner in comfort because um, hopefully we've killed some of those ticks because uh, they're sucking you dry and you and I are going to have a date with the tube later on this week. Uh, uh, I'm certain of that because uh, those ticks have got to go. Okay, you enjoy. Maybe I'll give you some water before I uh, leave. Okay, now she's happy. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Survive that. I guarantee that the, somebody else doesn't kill me.